After establishing the theory of the chapter, let's move on to one quick application. In this case, they're talking about an electrostatic paint sprayer, which you may or may not be familiar with. It's nothing that fancy. It, all it is is you've got like a little gun that sprays paint. It's supposed to spray paint everywhere. But they have an added thing where the tip of the paint sprayer is charged. In this case, a positive charge because it's got a positive potential. As are all the little droplets of paint. And all these are sprayed towards a piece of whatever you're trying to paint, probably a conductor of some sort, and that's connected to a zero potential spot. So there's no potential here, lots of potential there. So we, what you're essentially doing is two things. The charges keep the paint drops apart so they don't clump together because each of the paint is positive and positive they keep each other away from each other so you don't get a big glob of paint that you're splashing onto your piece additionally because these guys are positive they like to fall towards this ground in fact some of them will actually curve even around and behind because of electrostatic attraction you help more paint stick to the workpiece. So you're not just spraying little flats of paint all over the room. More of it gets on the workpiece, which ultimately gives you um, a more uniform paint job with using less paint. That's the whole idea of the electrostatic paint sprayer. Let's get to the question though. Question A is, what's the charge in the sphere? The sphere is creating a potential of that much at a diameter of that much. Again, we picture this as, since it's a metal sphere and we're assuming that it's perfectly uniform, we can treat this as a point charge at the center of the sphere, then at the surface, which is 0.1 meter away from the center. Again, this is diameter, not radius. We can work out the V as I've given you, which is K, Q over R. So flipping this around to solve for Q, it's as simple as putting all that together. So that's 25,000 000 for kilovolts times my 0 0.1 meters divided by my Coulomb's constant. We will get, in this case, about 0.3 microcoulombs. So that's just using the electric potential for a point charge. Secondly, they want us to find out what charge must little drops of paint have. So this is the charge that's feeling the electric potential. Part A is about the charge that's making the electric potential. And what charge must that have in order for it to arrive at the object with a certain speed? So again, this is relating electrical potential to electrical potential energy to kinetic energy finally getting a speed let's then draw a before and after picture so you have a little drop of paint which is over here and then the drop of paint travels over here onto this workpiece which is attached to v equals zero again we're going to ignore the effect of gravity because the potential involved here is so big that gravity is probably not going to play a major role. So the only thing we've got to track is speed and potential. Speed is starting at zero and has to end at 10 meters per second. In terms of potential, we start out at 25,000 volts and ending up at the workpiece, which is attached to zero volts. In the interim, there's no other force involved. So we can simply write that, crossing out a bunch of things that are zero. This is, of course, we're assuming that air friction is not significant. And at 10 meters per second, probably 
we're okay. The potential energy electric is simply the charge feeling the potential times the potential itself. We're given mass, so all we have to do is solve for the charge. They give us these little flags of paint in milligrams, so we have to do the necessary conversion. Again, we, we're not satisfied with just grams, we want kilograms, because that's what Newtons are based on, and joules, etc. V squared divided by voltage, giving us, and that's the answer. So just a quick application, again relating the idea of electrical potential with the idea of electrical potential energy. Similar, highly related, but just a little different because of this one that's the Q divided out and one hasn't.